Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. I hope you're well. Only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Now, this is going to be, and you're probably going to be grateful, possibly, this is going to be a short recording. So I won't be going on and on and on and on and on, like sometimes I may do. But this is going to be a short recording asking you to do something. It's a five minute exercise. It's not a physical exercise, don't worry. I haven't got to do sit ups or press ups. I wouldn't ask you to do anything that I would not do myself. So I'm not going to ask you to do sit ups. Although, actually, if you have got a bit of a belly, or if you look at someone who's got a big belly, just remember. The stomach is one of the strongest muscles in the body, if not the strongest muscle in the body. So even people with big bellies have got strong abdominal muscles. So don't, you know, just because I've got a bit of, a little bit of uh, fluff on top, don't be, uh, don't be mistaken, they are muscular. It's just well hidden. So everybody has got very, very strong muscular stomachs. So there. So this exercise has got nothing to do with stomachs. It's to do with your face. And this is something that I'm going to ask you to do every morning or whenever you wake up. It doesn't have to be first thing in the morning, but it can be, you know. For me, it doesn't matter what you ask me to do first thing in the morning. The first thing I'm going to do is go for a wee. (laughs) It's the first thing I'm going to do. So nothing else. And have a drink of water. Because, you know, I might have been eight hours since I last had a drink of water, so I'd like to have a drink of water. So you can do this any time you want. You can do it before having a shower. You can do it after having a shower, bath, whatever, going to the toilet, having your breakfast, whatever. But ideally in the morning, before you go and do what you're going to do for the day. Of course, if you work night shift or if you're asleep during the day, like I am, I'm, I wake up during the. I'm awake during the night. And I sleep during the day. Through choice. So, if you if you like that, I'm a night owl. I suppose you would call me. You do it in the afternoon when you wake up. Right, you're with me so far. This is what I'm going to ask you to do. It's going to seem silly, but it's going to also be, it's going to feel silly, but it's going to be humorous at the same time. So what I'm going to do is ask you to just, in fact, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to take you into the hallway. I'm going to do it myself. So here I am. So it might be a little bit echoey here. So I don't have soundproofing on the walls in the hallway, which I do in the living room. So, I'm standing in front of the mirror. I want you, and maybe you don't need to do it right now, because you might, you know, you might be lying down with your eyes closed. But you can maybe pause and go and sit in front of a mirror, or stand in front of a mirror, or just decide to do it at a later stage. 
but every morning or every you know time that you wake up in the morning or afternoon whenever it is look in the mirror and it may not be your favorite thing it's not really my favorite thing actually I'm looking old never mind I am doesn't matter and all I'm going to ask you to do is smile and this is regardless of how you feel so yeah I'm asking you to do a fake smile a fake smile so even if you're feeling in a good mood and you feel like smiling I'm still going to ask you to do a fake smile like a real exaggerated <laughs> so I'll make myself laugh now just an exaggerated smile and just hold it just for a few seconds and just look at yourself and then you can relax your mouth you haven't got to, I don't expect to hold that fake smile for five minutes because it's going to feel uncomfortable you know it's, it's you know holding your face in any particular position for that amount of time may not feel very comfortable and as you probably aware I'm all about comfort if at all possible so looking in the mirror do a fake smile it could almost be a sarcastic smile you know you're meeting someone and you don't like them and they don't like you maybe and you're just giving a fake smile hello you know kind of a silly smile false but silly and just keep doing it maybe turn your head to the left maybe turn your head to the right Maybe if you've got a hat, put a hat on and smile. And just keep doing it for five minutes, over and over again. The biggest smile that you can that you can put. Now it might make you laugh. It's making me laugh a little bit doing it because I've naturally got a funny face anyway, but when you do it, it does make you look funny. And but I don't want to laugh while I'm doing this because I'm trying to keep the volume low and you know for those that are falling asleep to my voice I don't want to be waking you up and you can extend this even further you can make funny faces with the smile you can contort your body a little bit like moving your right shoulder down lifting your hands up like you're being held up by strings or pretend to play an invisible violin it could be anything but you do this stuff for five minutes and my suggestion is to actually set a timer so if you've got an alarm clock or if you've got a phone most people these days have phones and you could if you've got a a timer on your phone set it for five minutes exactly and just do this for five minutes smiling fakely to yourself in the mirror for five minutes you haven't got to stand up doing it you can sit down doing it so this is available for anybody and um, pretty much of any physical ability can do this all you need is a mirror and to be able to move your face so someone even in a wheelchair um, that maybe hasn't is not able to move perhaps part of their body providing they've got a mirror they can still do this also you don't need a mirror to do it you can just do it anyway but it adds to the fun doing it in front of a mirror makes it funnier it, it gives it a, I don't know, more of a context, you know. But I'm just thinking if you, if you know, you might be looking out the window and you're practicing your facial expressions, and someone might walk past and see you and think you're making fun of them. 
Man, what's that person making funny faces at me for? Probably won't happen, but I'm just saying, it's, if you do it to yourself, it's, it's just more enjoyable. So just pretend to smile. Put a big e smile on your face. I'd say it doesn't have to be genuine. So don't stand in the mirror waiting to have the feeling of smiliness. I'm going to wait until uh, I have a genuine smile appear on my face automatically, naturally, organically. No, just put a silly smile on your face. That's my, my, uh, the voice I make when I make a silly smile. Just smile, big smile. As long as, you know, you've got no issues with your jaw or your face, you know. Um, I try and cover all angles, but I hope that will just be an automatic thing. If someone, you know, if you've got a broken jaw or something, then don't do this, because it's gonna probably cause problems. But then you can imagine yourself having a silly, really silly smile in the most inappropriate situations. So I talk about job in, I talk about job interviews way too often. I don't know why, but maybe meeting someone important, you know, important to you. Perhaps you've got a new boyfriend or girlfriend, or you know, or you're meeting their family for the first time, or his family for the first time, and just imagine in your mind saying hello and putting on the biggest, goofiest, f fakiest smile that looks fake. <laughs> and how ridiculous that would look. Of course you can do that in your mind. You don't have to, you don't need a mirror for that. And in some, in some ways, um, it's even funnier just the idea of smiling at the wrong time because it's not a real smile but it's it's almost like you feel you should do it and you're trying to give a good imp a good impression again like a job interview sitting down putting a big fake smile on and then, then shaking your hand and saying so Jason, what is it that makes you feel you'd be good as a, as a funeral director? It's like, and you've got another big funny fake smile. Well, I'm a happy fella. You know, it's ridiculous. It's silly. It's supposed to be silly. It's supposed to be absurd. Let's put on that big fake smile. For five minutes, set the alarm, do it for five minutes. And as I said, don't, it's not about holding one facial expression for the whole five minutes. Play around with it, doing it, do a big smile, maybe hold it for a few seconds and let it go. You'll find your, your face relaxes. And also when I do it, I've noticed the back of my neck sort of tingles. <sighs> I feel tired as well, but I get really relaxed. The reason I'm feeling tired is because it's nearly my bedtime. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning. So, give a big smile. That's, that's the sound of me smiling. And, and then just let it go, let it relax. The worst case scenario is it relaxes your body and your face. So it relaxes your face to start with because you've stretched your face a bit. you stretched your jaw a little bit and then it relaxes. And that relaxation spreads through your body because your face is an important part of your body. You know, you can say, well, it's not my body, it's my head, it's my face. It's connected. You know, it's, it's connected by the skin, by all the other stuff, and it it spreads. 
and I could feel it in my chest, moving down my stomach, down my shoulders, my arms, down my back, into my legs, and even though I'm standing up, I'm feeling a relaxation in my legs, but it's not relaxation to the point of needing to uh, lay down on the floor, it's just a nice relaxation. Because you can feel relaxed without being all floppy. You can feel relaxed without being unconscious or uh, asleep, you know. There's different levels of relaxation. That's, that's the, the worst that can happen doing this. The best thing that can happen is, well, just find out for yourself. Notice how you feel. And you do it. Notice how different you feel before you do it, during doing it, and then afterwards. Just notice that difference. And then during the day, maybe you're at work, maybe you're on a bus, maybe you're... You can show my limited lifestyle, can't you? I'm talking about going, being on a bus a lot. But whatever your situation is, wherever you are during the day, remember that five minutes where you were looking in the mirror, making silly faces to yourself, doing false grins, pretend smiles, big exaggerated smiles, the type that you'd never really do in reality. And just notice how you feel as well when you think about that. And maybe every now and then you can have that little daydream of a scenario when you know that smiling like that would be the most absurd thing you could do. And notice how that feels. Notice how your level of comfort, calmness, relaxation feels. And that's it. I'm going to walk back into the living room now. Excuse any sounds you get. That's better. You can hear the difference in here, can't you? I've got soundproofing on the walls, soundproof tiles. It's a lot quieter in there. So, that's the exercise. Still took me 18 minutes to explain it. Although it should have, couldn't, didn't need more than about 20 seconds really, did it? But I like to do stuff with you, rather than just like, try this out. I wanna say, yeah, I've tried it. When I, talk, when I go through a relaxation technique, I'm doing it at the same time as I'm talking about it. That's why I tell you how I'm feeling. So, that's the end of this recording, really. Please let me know how you're getting on. Uh, I don't get a lot of feedback from people listen to this podcast. So please subscribe, maybe leave a comment, go to my website, leave a review, a video review or written review. Because this this particular podcast is now become kind of my most popular podcast on a daily basis. Or one of them. So it's like really, it'd be interesting to have a, to hear what you think. Um, I've had a few people comment and let me know, but you know, please subscribe wherever you're watching or listening, rather, and Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Castbox, wherever it is, please subscribe, um, and I will speak to you very very soon. And I'd love to hear how you get on with this. Do it for a few days. 
I'd say do it every day. But at least do it for the next week. Every day for a week of five minutes. And I've got the birds in the in the loft scratching around, which is weird. So I'm gonna go. So thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy. Try and get in touch with the simple fact that you have helped many people over the years in ways that we're never ever going to know about. People that you don't want to even remember because maybe that interaction was completely just random, unimportant to you. But to them, it may have been really important. It might have been a smile. You know, it might have been perhaps they dropped their wallet and you picked it up and said, Oi, wait, look, you handed them the wallet back. Now, if they hadn't, if you hadn't done that, their whole life may have been different. And that might sound dramatic, but it's true. They might have gone home, didn't have the money and broke down, didn't have the money to pay for this, blah, blah, blah. So you've affected, we all affect other people's lives. So you do deserve to be happy. It's not just a, a sound bite. I thought it's quite a groovy sound bite, but it's not just that. It's actually reality. You do deserve to be happy, so you do deserve, therefore, to do something to be kind to yourself today. And that kind thing may actually be spending five minutes looking in the mirror and putting on a fake smile and playing around with that for five minutes every day. Lots of love. Bye.